guys, welcome back to another episode of Entrepreneurship with Hyman. Today we're discussing influencer marketing and in particularly, is it worth it? We're answering that question because I see a lot of you guys leaving a lot of money on the table and I just see a lot of cases where uh, you know people are um, using influencer marketing for their brands or or for advertising any product they're, they're doing, especially dropshippers out there but really just business people in general because as we know influencer marketing is hot right now it's very trending and um, you know you want to make the best use out of out of it because it's a lot of underpriced attention and we'll talk a bit about that later on today but you also don't want to make very rookie mistakes um, which you know lead to you losing a lot of advertising budget on influencers that do not bring any positive ROI to your business so I don't want that to happen I really don't because at the end of the day I'm here to help you grow as a, as a person and uh, one of those things is you know building building wealth creating wealth for yourself and I want you to grow your business to the next level and um, you know for myself I've been I've been quite successful in using um, influencer marketing I'm actually organizing a promotional campaign that's uh, due to take place tomorrow so uh, that's gonna be 7th of April, this probably will uh, have released by then. But yeah, I'm basically organizing this massive, massive um, promotional campaign with uh, I think five influencers coming over uh, and um, actually you know going to photo shoots. We're making some videos with them, and um, eventually they're gonna they're gonna advertise on their own Instagram pages uh, or whatever, whatever social media platform they use. So I want to provide as much value from experience as possible today, guys, and uh, let's get on it. Alright guys, so today I actually want you to consider three things um, that are gonna, you know, that are gonna decide whether influencer marketing is worth it for your brand um, and for whatever you're trying to do. And yeah, really consider these three things because they're essential, they're key, and these are the three things that I ask myself all the time whenever I'm, I'm using influencer marketing. And this is really what I've what I've learned from hearing from the best and uh, analyzing, you know, the top brands uh, that are using influencer marketing. Um, brands like Gymshark, Victoria's Secret, uh, you know, any brand um, that's using influence marketing. Okay, so the first thing that I want you to consider is your product or your service. Whatever you're actually selling, you have to consider this because, you know, influence marketing, personally, I think it's a great way of getting social proof. Um, you know, if you have people wearing your product or um, advertising your product, then there's that emotional side of it. You know, there's uh, an actual human being is trying this product, it's, it's, it's showing its quality, to their audience and so it gives you massive massive uh, social proof proof now uh, there's there's products that absolutely need this for example a clothing brand what I'm doing absolutely needs social proof it needs to you know people need to see other people wearing it and people need to see you know how people are um, you know if they feel comfortable wearing it if they if they look cool wearing it and so they'll decide uh, to buy it based on that on the on the emotional aspect of it but there's just other products that don't really need social proof, and uh, you know I, I see a lot of a lot of uh, people using influencer marketing with their products, and it's just a bit awkward because this product is not really built for someone to advertise it uh, on their on their social media, and so just don't use uh, influencer marketing if that's your case. If that's your case, then there's other um, marketing ways that you can that you can use, especially digital marketing. Uh, in the age that we, we live, you know, it's, it'd be really stupid not to use that digital marketing. And that brings me to my next point. Um, you know, you've got things like Facebook ads, you've got things like AdWords, you've got things like Instagram story ads, and these allow you to specifically target an audience. And so the second point is, if, you're, if your product is very specific, then influencer marketing might not be the best uh, solution for you, might, might not be the best marketing option. For example, say you have, I don't know, um, this notepad, right? And, and you're selling notepads. It'd be very hard to find an individual which has an audience that it's absolutely devoted to to buy notepads or um, or that, that are massive fans of notepads, right? And so getting an influencer in, um, for that, that specific product might be not the best uh, investment that you can make. Instead, you could put that money into Facebook ads um, in which you could target people that are specifically looking for, for those type of products or people that are really into you know, um, planning, organizing, uh, stuff like that, right? You get the point. If it's very specific, you might be better off using Facebook ads, just, uh, Instagram story ads, Instagram ads, because that allows you to target a much, much um, narrower audience than 
an influencer might because at the end of the day, an influencer has an audience and that, that audience might be very wide, might be very broad. The third thing that you have to consider uh, judging whether influencer marketing is worth it for your brand is whether you're gonna get good return investment. Now this seems very obvious, but you'd be surprised by the amount of people that don't actually consider this when um, you know, uh, choosing uh, a specific marketing strategy over uh, another one. Now, usually um, for influencer marketing, I try to go uh, to actually return on investment. Now I know there's a lot of marketing uh, strategies that are, are much better than that, but then again, as I said earlier before, I get the social proof and that builds over time. Now, a 2x is definitely not bad. Usually, if you get um, you know, just over your initial investment, it'll have been a good investment um, on a market investment, but really do consider, are you gonna get a good return investment? And um, one way that you can judge this with influencer marketing is really seeing the engagement that this influencer can provide. Now, influencer marketing is very underpriced, in my opinion. But there's, a, there's still a lot of influencers out there that are, um, that are overpriced, that are overcharging people for their services because, you know, you'll be surprised if some people don't do enough research when, um, when adopting influencer marketing with their influencers, right? Don't just look at the number of followers they have. Look at the type of engagement. Look at, look at um, their type of followers as well. You know, a lot of people buy followers. They have ghost followers. But yeah, mostly the, the main thing is looking at the type of engagement they're getting looking at the type of um, you know likes, comments, stuff like that, that's, that's very, very uh, valuable to you because yes, that influencer could have a million uh, followers, but if they're only getting you know, 1% engagement or, or uh, less than that, 0.5% engagement, then it's it much better than, than a 100,000 influencer that's getting much higher engagement? Probably not, and uh, you'll still be paying more for the, the 1 million influencer because just because they have a, a large follower account so to consider this because um, you can cut your uh, your spending in half pretty much and uh, you also need to get that good return on investment you can see the engagement on any instagram account of any influencer on social blade which is this tool right here is very very useful because not only can you see the engagement the type of likes that people are getting you can also see the growth and so uh, this will, you know, give you an idea of whether they're buying followers. If, for example, if there's a, a massive increase of of 5,000 followers and uh, up to then that been growing by 100 followers, then that's a bit dodgy, right? So, judge the growth as well, and um, you get a sense of of whether the followers are fake, or real, uh, stuff like that that you have to consider. All right, guys. So the final thing that I want you to consider is that. Um, influencer marketing. The bad thing about it is you can't really track it. You can't put things into numbers as, uh, as you could with Facebook ads or um, Instagram ads. And that's really the bad thing about it, right? Uh, because you don't really know um, the kind of traffic that's converting. You don't, you don't really know the, the type of numbers that are driving traffic to uh, whatever you're driving traffic to, whether that's your website, whether that's your Instagram page, which can be a drawback because you wanna see, you know, what are the, the highest converting um, influencers. Uh, so that you can maybe reuse them again or so you can um, really see the, the kind of return investment that you're getting. So that's the bad thing, um, especially if you're using a bunch of influencers uh, at the same time because if, if you're only using one then you kind of know what uh, what's driving all that traffic to your uh, website, Instagram. But if you're using a couple at the same time or uh, just a bunch of influencers then it's a lot harder to see what influencers are bringing the most traffic to your website so or instagram page so to consider that um which is kind of the bad thing about by influencer marketing but then again you have the social all right guys i hope you really enjoyed this video i hope you can uh, go ahead and implement some of the tips and some of the things that um, i talked about in this video hope you find it valuable and that you can um, you can start considering these things when uh, judging your uh, influence strategy or what, if you're considering to, to go into influencer marketing. Now also, uh, guys, if you look back uh, in my previous videos on this channel, you know, I'm still kind of trying to find uh, the specific niche that I want to, you know, really focus on uh, throughout my channel. Uh, in the entrepreneurship sphere and business sphere, you know, I really want to share with you my expertise on branding and uh, marketing. In particularly, um, and uh, yeah, I'm just trying to find that very, very specific niche that uh, I can tap into and bring value to a lot of people. 
So um, I hope you guys join me in that journey. I have a lot of good content coming up and I, have, I, I think I have a really, really good video coming out tomorrow. Um, so uh, if, you haven't, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and like this video. Uh, it really means the world to me. Go ahead and share it with a person that might need this and, um, and leave in the comments, you know, what, what are your experiences with the influencer marketing? Uh, what are some things that you're considering and um, you know if you have any questions leave it down below and I'll, ask, I'll answer every single uh, comment so thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one peace